If you read the title or looked at the thumbnail, you have probably already guessed that today's Sharp Saturday video is not going to be about something sharp. Instead, we're going to look at a way to keep something sharp, sharp. And over the last 11 years, can you believe it, here at Survival on Purpose, we have looked at a lot of something sharps. And we've looked at several different ways to keep them sharp. One thing that all those ways, as far as I can remember, uh, share in common is that they require at least some level of judgment on the part of the user. You got to make you got to make a kind of you got to have make a judgment decision that could really impact the ability to get a sharp blade. And if you don't have a lot of experience, it may be hard to do that. So today we're going to take a look at this. This is the KME Sharpers Precision Control Plus, and it's a fixed angle sharpening system that is designed to take the guesswork out you can get any knife super super sharp with this with pretty much zero experience zero guesswork it's not about feel it's about literally math so math and science so and don't let that intimidate you because I was a little bit intimidated by this at first and, I, and I'll kind of give you a little bit of rambling about that and we'll get to, we'll get to the to the actual do, using the thing but so I actually met the KME Sharpener folks at Blade Show in Atlanta this year, 2024, at um, in June. Here it is, November now. A couple of weeks after Blade Show, they sent me an email. Said, "Hey, um, we'd like to send you one of the one of our, our setups so you can test it out and tell us what you think." Well, I got really busy at work. I was a little intimidated by this because I thought the learning curve was going to be really steep because it looks kind of complex. I thought it'd be it'd be a pain in the butt to figure out how to set up and use. As it turns out, I was wrong on both those counts. So uh, finally, after they sent me this thing um, for like months ago, I'm getting around to testing it, and I've, I've already sharpened one knife with it just to kind of get my see how it works. It really was easy to set up. It really did work really well. I took a really really crappy, super super cheap knife that came like in a little thin plastic bag, very very dull, and I got it to uh, redneck sharp in, in just a few minutes. So. Anyway, we're going to do that with this 25, I've had this knife for probably, no, closer to 40 years. It's dull as dirt. We're going to see how quickly we can get this sucker um, to pass in the old redneck sharp test. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me for another Sharp Saturday video where it's Saturday. And like I said, today we take a look at a way to make something sharp. So, um, first of all, let me apologize for the long intro. Uh, I let the rambling kind of get away from me, but um, I think everything I said, I planned on saying it anyway. So, we just moved the intro back a little bit. So, the first thing that really impressed me about this is because uh, I've seen different different versions of these, this, this same style where it's a fixed angle. You got everything set up where your angles are all right. But this one is 100% made in the USA, which I thought was pretty cool. So we're going to change the camera angles and um, kind of get started on this. But first, speaking of 100% made in the USA, uh, as I'm making this video on today is the 22nd of November, tonight, uh, tonight by now, um, I just found out today that Excess Sites, who is a channel sponsor, just went ahead and started their Black Friday sale early. So right now you can save 30% site-wide on Excess Sites, the absolute best sites that I've ever seen. They are the sites that I carry on every pistol, have on every pistol that I carry. Um, they're just made in the USA and 100% good. And, and right now, 30% off at Excess Sites. So site-wide, no coupon code or anything. Just go there and get you some sites, save some money. Okay, now let's uh, get to doing some of that knife sharpening stuff. You want to? Okay, we're down here at the old tabletop, and I'm going to have to be standing up for this part, so you're going to be spared much more of looking at this. So I have got a knife that I have had for at least 35 years, and this one was a in use at a um, chicken processing place where I used to work. And I, since I'm sure the statute of limitations has expired and I am also have repented of my um, wayward ways, I brought this sucker home from work. So anyway, <laughs> just coming clean with you right here on Nationwide YouTube. So 
it's a um, not a super expensive high quality knife to be honest with you and it is really really dull uh, let's just show you how dull it is because I uh, dulled it more so intentionally than it already was and just a, it is it's not even paper sharp much less redneck sharp so let me clamp it back in here and I'm not going to go over really how to set this thing up and put it together and all that you're smart enough to figure that out and maybe I'll make another video about that um, if, if there's interest in that but I um, I just really want to see how quickly you can bring uh, a really really dull knife to um, really good sharpness and what so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably talk about this thing for a minute as I start and then we're going to go to fast forward and I'll play some guitar in the background or something I'll keep up with the time and post the time so we can see uh, from start to finish um, exactly how long it takes okay so the uh, first part of the process is going to be making sure you got the right angle on the stone because it's it's it absolutely uh, keeps the same angle but you want to make sure that angle is right and there's there's some angles written on this little little bar here which you raise and lower to set the angle those are just should be thought of as guides you really need to to know what if there's already a bevel on your knife and you're not just trying to put a whole new angle on it then you need to kind of know what the existing bevel is and the, the, the way to do that is use the sharpie they provide a sharpie comes in the kit and just run your sharpie down the uh, you know the final edge bevel and then you want to see um, you want to run this over over the edge and see if it removes the sharpie evenly along that little bevel if it does then your angles right if it doesn't then you have to figure out which way to, to go up or down with them so if the top part up here has still has sharpie on it of the bevel but it's all gone off the bottom that means your angle is probably a little too steep it's coming in a little too high and it's leaving that part untouched and if the reverse is true there's you still got sharpie on the very very tip edge but not not further back that means your angle is a little too shallow so the goal is to have all the sharpie removed from the line where the stone comes across it one little tip that i saw on somebody's video and this is video on youtube i don't remember where it was but it wasn't my idea was to use the finest grit stone you have just just to um check the the bevel with the sharpie because that way you don't dig any metal anywhere that you don't need to dig metal so you can you can kind of just rub this across and see where the uh where the sharpie is or is not so so real quickly you can see that and it looks to me like the sharpie is pretty much gone maybe the very, very top of that bevel so maybe if we drop that thing down just a smidge just a little smidge i mean like a half a degree and we'll see how it does maybe one more half a degree right there and let's go back here make sure it's going to take it all the way off to the edge now Yep, it does. Okay, so there's our angle. So there's a little lock nut back here. We're gonna lock that down. Okay, so we're not gonna count that as part of the sharpening time yet. So what I'm gonna do now, let me go ahead and change these stones. I'm gonna put the 140 grit on first to start with because I know this edge is really, really dull. And, but I, but I do wanna kind of maintain the, the uh, existing bevel, right? So we're not gonna, we're just gonna to try to take the edge down, not the whole, whole bevel. So. And then what I like to do to set this thing up finally um, is you don't want to pull back with this with this little clamp. Sometimes this little metal clamp on the end will get down below the uh, stone. So the way to resolve that is this stop here. You want to set that stop so that you don't pull, you can never pull this back into the very edge. So I just give it like a quarter of an inch there. It's the shortest, it's the straightest, shortest point, right? I'm sorry, this one you would want to do at the furthest point. Yeah, so go to here, try that, slide your stop back there. Maybe go over to here. Okay, so that, that looks like a good place for the stop. We can screw it down now. And so we can't bring this thing back far enough for that little snag to catch the edge. And then you do the same thing on the back end, on the top end, push it down. And at the, this time you're gonna use the closest point, because just math, you don't, you don't want to come back any further than that and tighten that one down. And I like to have the rubber at the top because I'm bouncing this way, but you might want it there. I mean, either way it works. So now that we've got the 140 grit on here and we're um, going to 
Got the angle set, got all our stops in place. Let's just start start doing this. Oh, wait, let me set let me set my stopwatch. Here we go. Bam. for a burr, not there yet. Okay, by my stopwatch, it was 30 minutes and 44 seconds. I may have taken longer than I needed to do, than I needed to playing musical, musical birds, um, but I'd rather spend, you know, a few extra minutes to make it really sharp, hopefully, than a few less minutes to make it sort of sharp. So first, let's do the old scientific testing. <coughs> So this thing was super, super dull. It wouldn't cut, you saw any paper. Let's see how it does in the redneck sharp test. <laughs> Look at all that horror there. How about paper? Okay. <laughs>
Chuck Norris can cut a knife with hot butter. Okay, well, I have to say I am pretty impressed by how easy and even surprisingly simple it is to take a knife that was not the best knife to begin with, intentionally dulled, wouldn't even tear paper, much less cut it, take it to um, redneck sharp, shaving sharp. I'm pretty impressed with that. And so I just imagine what it would do with a knife that had a decent edge already that you're just maintaining. Oh, man, and these things, you can also even get strops to go in this thing, strop panels with different strop stuff. They actually sent me a little kit of that as well. Um, so if you really want to take it to the next level, you know you need to strop it. So we've got several different strop plates with a lot of different sharpening compounds in here, stropping compounds rather. Um, and to be clear, like I said, they sent me this. I don't have any other dogs in the hunt. They're not paying me. I don't have a commission schedule set up with them. I have no, not making any money off this. I just um, thought I would share it with you because I get a lot of questions about how to sharpen knives. And I, um, to be honest with you, some, some, sometimes some things work better than others. This, again, takes the guesswork out of it. I have to say that. And it, uh, I think if I wasn't making a video and had a little more experience with it, I'm sure it would have been even faster, but I, uh, and again, man, that was, that, that was taking a, a no edge knife basically to a razor sharp, shaving sharp. So i um, pretty impressed now the $64,000 question that everybody's been waiting for. And no, it's not 64,000, but the price on this thing here is about 475 bucks. Uh, at the time of this make, as I'm making this video, they were, they were sold out, uh, expect, working on getting some more and uh, but they have other setups as low as 170 bucks. So the same principle, the same fixed angle, fixed angle sharpening systems. They even have that. You know, this is the again the flagship model. They have lesser, lesser expensive models, some handheld models, and I think that's a really, um, a really great way for anybody with zero experience or skill level really to uh, just follow the follow the uh, guidelines and, and get yourself a sharp knife. So uh, that is the KME Precision Control plus professional life sharpening system and I'm really impressed with it. Thanks to those guys for sending me this and I, I apologize to those guys for me taking this long to gather up the nerve to, to, to try to tackle it and it, it turns out to be surprisingly simple so shame on me. But I um, really sincerely appreciate you watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident so be prepared. I'll see you next time.